Hello, everybody, and welcome back to St. Andrew TV, and I am your host, Andrew. And today, we're going to do a collections video because I have a collection of tie tacks, tie pins, or stick pins, whatever you would like to call them. But what they are are men's jewelry that kept your tie down during the 1800s into the early 1900s. So if you stick around, you'll get to see some of the ones in my collection. No one on the corner has to work like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh ching and I take your money. All I wanna do is and uh ching and I take your money. Now, tie tacks date back to the early 1800s. And with most American fashion, it came over from Europe. And the original purpose was to secure a nice and neat fold on your cravat. But as time passed, the 1870s came along and elongated neck pieces, ties, were becoming more and more popular. And the tie tack would actually clip to the inside of your shirt and hold the tie in place covering your buttons from maybe movement or maybe a little bit of extra wind that day. And of course, these were decorated with diamonds, gold, silver, anything to spice up your outfit and let people know that you had a little bit more money. Because back then, more times than not, there weren't a lot of extravagant things to spend your money on, so you probably wore most of the money that you had. So now that I gave you a brief overview of what a tie tack is and the origins of the tie pin or tie tack, now let's get into my collection. The first one I'm going to show you is the Sheriff's Badge. Now this one was probably not found very often in the Victorian era, if at all, probably not actually. This was just a little trinket that I picked up while I was passing through Tombstone, Arizona. They had a little tie tack that looked like a sheriff's badge and it was like $2, nothing special about it. I just thought it was kind of funny. Or you could put this on your pet's collar and they could be the sheriff of your household because Lord knows you take orders from them anyway. So we're gonna lump the next three together because they are all casino games. First, we have three aces for your card games. Next, we have a pair of dice. Looks like they got rolled to one and three. And the next is a roulette table. All three of these came in a little package. These aren't too valuable. I wear tie tacks, that's why I currently have a few that relate to my interest. I like card games, I like dice games. Uh, I haven't played much roulette, uh, I don't fancy it too much, but you can put one of those on when you go out to your favorite casino. I'm going to take the next three slower and I'll go one by one because these actually have more of a story than the previous ones. The next one is the Silver G tie tack with the chain hanging off the back of it. And all the chain is is to just keep it propped up. It's displaying whatever is in the front of your tie. So this one was actually from my late grandfather. His last name and my last name because it was on my mom's side. Both start with the letter G. This was one of the things that he had and I was fortunate enough to keep it. Having something like this showed that my grandfather was a man of style. He would frequently wear stuff like this and he would actually also do some of the really you know, unique facial hairstyles. I put this one on and I always remember that this is the same one that my grandfather wore. It's uh, quite old, but it still serves its purpose and it definitely means a little bit more to me than it would somebody else. The next one is actually made out of silver and it is the grizzly bear tie tack. I think I mentioned it in a previous episode, but my favorite animal is the brown bear, whether that be the Kodiak or the grizzly. This one also has a chain off the back to display what your tie tack is trying to display. This one cost me $105 because it is all silver, at least the piece that gets displayed is. I don't think the back where the pin goes into 
is necessarily silver, but the bear itself is silver. This one's more of a personalized one because like I said before, bears are my favorite animal and I wear this to let people know that I'm not one to be messed with because I can pounce like a grizzly bear. And I can actually climb a tree better than a grizzly can. If you're ever getting chased by a grizzly bear up in the wilderness, climb a tree. They're not good at climbing. A black bear, they're better climbers than you, trust me. The last one is probably my most distinguished one. My 14 karat gold tie tack that has the letter G engraved on the front of it for my last initial. And like I said, the front of it is definitely gold, but I do not know if the receiving end of that pin is gold, probably not. This one too has a chain and this one's for special occasions. I do wear these if it is a black tie affair. I do throw on a tie tack because I like the way it looks and it's a style that has been almost forgotten about. I know we have tie clips now, which is supposed to serve the same purpose and it's like a little band that goes across the front of your tie but I feel that the tie tack is more my style and I've actually gotten a few compliments on the gold one and they've even asked, is it real gold? And I say, absolutely. Do you know who I am? But this is the last one I have in my collection. I'm still growing it, so maybe there will be a part two. That is all there is to see when it comes to my tie tack collection. They are an interesting piece of Victorian era fashion and that's why I wanted to share them with you today. I hope you enjoyed the brief history lesson at the beginning of the video, and I hope that some of the ones that you saw today give you an idea of maybe a tie tack that you would like to purchase in the near or not so near future. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel as of late. If you like the collections videos that I put out about Old West or Victorian era stuff, please leave a like or leave me a comment saying you want more of this stuff, show us more collections. And then there's this one thing that seems to elude people more than it should, but there's a big red button with white lettering that says subscribe. If you hit that thing, my pretty face will show up on your subscription feed on Monday at noon with a new video. And that bell next to it doesn't hurt because it'll even notify you that I posted a new video. Now I'm not saying you have to do it, but just remember one thing. You're a daisy if you do.